Hey everyone, this is Dustin, and today I want to go over the 2023 620 by Cirrus. This is a half ton truck camper made by New Camp RV. It's an all season truck camper, completely sealed all the way around. Everything is self contained. It has a bathroom inside, a little five gallon cassette toilet, and everything else that we need. Hey! Come on in, check this out. First and foremost, you'll see that beautiful queen size bed right up front. This right here is a 60 by 76 inch mattress with the Froley sleeping system underneath that offers like a bed spring. Cabinetry all the way around. Let's hop right up here. little cupboards all the way around this thing and you'll see there's one there one here reading lights back here if you hold this turn it off push and hold it turns on to your white reading light push it on quick it'll turn on to the blue light which is nice when you have neighbors cup holder Charging port that has USB if you pop it up. Huge window right over the head to look at the sky. Going over here, you'll see that's the same thing on the other side. You have your reading light, cup holder, charging port, couple little cabinets cubby holder or cubby spots dual pane windows with the accent lighting above every window in here comes with the screen coming down blind going up they function and open up like this Also in here you'll see there's a little notch. That little notch system is so you can put this right in here. When you're bringing it back in, you can lock it in and it helps with condensation, but you're still locked. So for security purposes. All right. And then over here into our right here accent lights coaxial cable for the cable TV 110 outlet here little cubby hole shelving spot your Aldi heat and Alda heat and hot water system this is the controller here this is the antifreeze for your all the system all right so that's it for the bed area then coming down off the bed we're going right into the dinette this dinette folds into a 30 by 73 hold on 30 by 78 so this serves as a dinette on the lagoon style bracket down here. So you can maneuver this around, turn it around. You also have a cabinet or a cubby hole down below, a cubby hole right behind. And in that cubby hole behind, you have plugs on both sides. On the other side, I'll show you without going too fast. On the other side, you have the six volt. Right here's a six volt plug, and right here's the USBs that run off your battery or the 12 volt. All right, so over top here, we have our cabinets, beautiful class B style cabinets. The nice hinges.
low profile air conditioner above. You'll see all the accent lighting above the cabinets as well. Two shelves in here and they do go all the way up top too. So they're offering as much storage as they can in these little half ton towable truck campers. Also you'll see that everything is sealed. So like these vents back here are where the heat's going to come up through. So the whole unit can breathe. Same with up on your bed, you'll see the vents right at the side. That's so the unit can get rid of all the condensation and moisture and it can bring the air around the surroundings and the walls and the corners and basically just dry up your unit while keeping the, um, the heat in the air continuously through the whole unit. All right, back into the kitchen area kitchen area we have our two burner stove and this comes down lift up bring it down use this as a countertop space over into the stainless steel sink then your spice racks control panel above that's giving you all the accent lights and your uh, porch light water pump and all your levels gray level fresh water battery. The battery is a lithium battery. I'll show you where that battery disconnect switch is in just a second. Right here's the microwave. Then over into the door area here. Screen door. All right, so now that we're done with the door, we're going to go right over here to one of the special features here. This is probably one of my favorite features just because you don't really know it. You know, I usually keep the extra cushion on that goes for the dinette to convert that over into the bed. So you'd never even know this was here. So take the cushion off, flip this back, and you're going to see that this is your cassette toilet. Spin this out. This will turn to give you a little bit more room. And then you have your toilet right here that's hidden, compact, and you never even know it was there. Again, this is a five gallon cassette toilet. Right above the toilet there, it's going to be your nice size 12 volt fridge. It does have a little freezer area in it. Twelve volt fan above. Now, to show you guys where this disconnect switch is, over here, right behind the dinette, there's a battery disconnect panel. Pop this off. And this right here is a control for your uh, electric jacks. So you have electric power uh, lift jacks on this. So that's what this is. But right here is your battery disconnect switch. Again, this does have a lithium battery that comes with it. It's one 100 hour lithium battery in here. So do your research. Just to show you right now too on how this goes back in. You pop these pins back. Make sure the corners are all connected and it pops right in. It's actually a really slick little thing. Pop this back over. There. Perfect. And I'm 6'2", and I can comfortably sit right here, too, just to show you exactly how comfy it is. Plenty of arm room. Then, just me. There's a lot of variations in here to be comfortable. You'd never know how small it really is. All right, next, let's go outside and I'll show you all the outside features. First thing we'll notice is the 400 style door. Spot for your garbage, this pops off, you can clean it. Fire extinguisher, window, 
spot for maps or whatever else you want to use. Put in there, bug spray, lights. Over here is your Nautilus system. So this has your outside shower and all your different fills, your coaxial cables in here and all the diagrams to exactly how to use it are right there too to make it extremely user friendly. It looks complex, but it really isn't once you get out there and actually use it. These all have locks on them now as well. Going right next to you and showing you guys the outside or the electric jack, the electric lift system. Then right over here also to show you that it has an awesome uh, electric on it. It looks like approximately an eight foot awning. Down below, this is just going to be storage and access for the underneath. Right over next to it, all your out, uh, connections for your truck, fresh, uh, fresh water tank drains, so your low point drains are in here. Um, you also have your sewer drop, or your sewer um, dump station, my apologies. Right here is your bathroom. That's why I was a little confused. So this is not really your sewer as much as it is your gray water. Right here is your toilet. This would be your sewer. This is your five gallon cassette toilet. This comes right out. You can maneuver it over and dump it wherever you, well, at the dump station. Inside here, Right at ground access is your awning light, your awning controls, and also the controls for your lift supports. Over here, you have a vent for your 20 pound propane tank, which is right inside here. Twenty pound propane tank, regulator, right there's your connections, and you're seeing this one here. It's going underneath to your outside propane connection. While we're we're right here, I want to point out that we actually have the the supports and your uh, connection points to your truck right on the camper. It's a light enough camper, so they can just do that and connect it right to it. Awesome little system. Remote for your lift on your on these. Underneath here, we have the vent for your lithium battery. Your center of gravity is also right underneath that. And just to show you, I mean, just how smooth this is, nothing's exposed. It's insane. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful camper. Right here is your power cord, your shore power. Lights indicating that you have power. Bumper plates all over the place to make sure that you are connecting to the bumper plates rather than the cab of your truck or the, uh, the corners or the body or structure of the camper. You'll see that there's, you know, everywhere you look, you've got bracing and seals and extra supports over here 110 outlets and the vent for your auto system so this is a complete walk around of the Cirrus 620 half ton truck camper I really hope you guys appreciated the walkthrough please check out my other videos and subscribe thank you